guys, week number 14 of our program, we are going to work at a variation of a chalk, okay, I like to try always, as we have the uniform, work with that, okay, with the lapel. So, before to start our action, we are going to repeat how to maintain a good side control. Whenever the person on the bottom, start with the elbows closed, so it's difficult to me to have a good control on top. So, one arm, hiding the head. Other arm, you guys have always to fight, okay? To stay with your arm under, that of your partner. And in this time, he will try to move his arm under your arm, okay? So, who is in advantage? The person has the arm under, okay? Could be in half guard, side control, okay? Or even in a clinch, standing, okay? So, from here, this is the position to start. Now, what is wrong? It's wrong to keep your knees too much closed, okay? Keeping your hips up. Here, you are not using your weight properly, okay? You are very light. So I always like to put one knee touching the shoulder, or the knee touching the hip of my partner, and be low, like a sprawl with my hips. Now, the center of your chest has to be in the center of the chest of your partner. You can see, of course, here, or too much sit, okay? You want to stay here, nice and tight. What was so wrong, okay? Uh, control your hand to hand and squeeze, okay? You have to look at this position in a competition vision, or maybe in a training vision that if you are in a good position, you don't need to use the strength, okay? Especially imagine, you are in a good position in competition, one minute, uh, the referee is going to call your action, and then what happens? Your arms are going to get tired, okay? Automatically, maybe for the adrenaline, or maybe because you want to hurry, you don't want to lose the position. But what happens if the person on the bottom starts his action to escape, and you are not strong enough, okay, to hold, and He's, uh, the person on the bottom has a uh, possibility to, to attack, to make a sweep, work something, and you don't have the energy, the strength on your arms, uh, you don't have more the energy to work, okay? You can lose a, a potential competition. So guys, from here, I always recommend to keep your hands open on the mat, or just control, or control, but never, guys, open, okay? Keep your, uh, uh, never close, okay? It's always open. Now, guys, from here, a better control you can have is going deeper with your right arm. So for doing that, as we worked a few weeks ago, I'm going to work my chest, I'm going to move in the direction of the legs of my partner, work, 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 going deeper with my palm under his armpit, I'm going to pull and close my shoulder. In this way, I give to the obligation to look to the opposite side, okay, when I am. Now, I'm going to work the lapel. I'm going to keep my head down, and I'm going to open the core of my partner. Whenever you guys want to work the collar, never pass the collar like that, okay? In this way. You want always to close the collar, like that. Now, the grip that you are going to do will be stronger. I'm going to pass under, palm down, control, and pass with the other hand. Right here, nice and tight. Now, from here, I can go work with my hips. I'm going to have a good base, hips up. I'm going to uh, move my right knee from the shoulder to the hip of my part, I'm going to conquer the space. Now I start to move right, like a hip escape, or give the obligation to my partner to move the arm. I'm going to slide and finish here. Now, controlling the bicep of my partner, I'm going to bring his elbow to his body. Close. Now I start my first attack, it could be a, a choke from here. So I'm going to change the position of my legs and my hips, like that. How to make a good choke? My knuckles has to touch the mat. Okay, so my wrist has to take the form of, of the leg of my partner and I have to keep my arm stretch. Okay, I can't stay here. He's not squeezing, you want to keep the arm stretch. Look his arm, he's already here. I have a lot of options, okay, working the arm. But I'm going to focus first on the choke. For making a normal choke would be only step with your right leg to the other side, keep your foot flat on the mat and pull, start to pull. His only escape, way to escape, is to turn in, the, in that direction and give his back. Why? Because he can't turn in, in my direction. He's going into a choke, okay? So his only option is to explode like a bridge in that direction. So as I'm going to step, he's going to make a bridge. Here, if you don't pay attention, you can lose the position and you can finish on the bottom. So you have to use your hand on the mat. And now with your knee, you want to bring his arm to the, of your partner to the other side. So you have to work. You want to switch base, move, and look, I'm going to close his arm with my chest. Now, two options can happen. If I start to pull, he can tap already. Or if he doesn't tap because he's stronger than me, or maybe he can he have more room to, to breathe, I'm going to use my grip 
to the same color, I'm going to use my arm in front of his head, deeper control. And now as I control, I just squeeze. Two options from side control. 